Are you guys able to see my um, my screen? Yep, you can see it. Okay, I guess as you can see, I didn't spend too much time on color coordination. Um, I'll probably go back to it at some point and try to fix that. I actually was trying to make it was, um, I guess, relevant to my topic, and this is the best I could find. But it doesn't seem to match well with the rest of um, my element, out the elements on the page. But anyway, um, for this thing, I chose to do to look at the, the crime statistics um, in New York State for 2016. Um, a lot has been made about, I guess, declining crime in the entire state, especially um, New York City, where we see in record um, low levels of um, crime. So I decided to look at, um, and also recently, the state has decided to make these um, statistics available to everyone. Um, what is crime statistics? Um, motor vehicle um, accidents or whatever the case is, you're able to go online to different um, state government sites and able to pull up these um, statistics. I chose 2016 because 2018 obviously has not ended as yet. And uh, 2017 um, is still in the preliminary stages. So the numbers are not finalized as yet. So 2016 gives me the most recent um, figures, the most recent completed figures. And I also, okay, so I, I made a link over here to um, the spreadsheet, the actual spreadsheet that I used. Um, I don't think it's going to show up on my screen, but anyone who's looking at the page can actually download the page to see the actual um, Excel sheet that I used. Yeah, that's going to take a while to load. And so my goal for this um, project was just to pull up the, the, the numbers and see what other ways we can actually um, view, view the statistics. Um, instead of using an Excel sheet, so I want to use the Excel sheet and present it in a different manner. Something that's maybe a little bit more engaging, uh, more interesting than just having to look at an Excel sheet. So this is the actual sheet. And like I said, anyone who's looking at my page could actually download the sheet itself if they're interested in seeing the actual numbers. Now, in order to um, navigate um, this page, there are several ways to do that. The first one would be by, if you look at all counties, all 62 counties in New York State. Now, over here, I had, I was a bit um, conflicted about this long list over here. I wanted to do it in another manner, but I figured I'll just keep it simple and just keep a long list and have anyone who's interested in looking at it this way to either scroll through to pull up their, their own county. So in my case, I'll pull up Rockland County where I live and just you pull up the statistics. The total number of crimes for Rockland County is 3,559, 384 violent and 3,175 property. Now, if you don't, if you don't want to um, navigate the list, by scrolling up and down until you found your own um, county. You could also look it up by, you could open tiddlers, one for each bookmark. I'm sorry, one for each um, county. Oh, I see, nice. And then everything opens up like this. Nice. I actually made a mistake. I copied and pasted this from another project and I left the word bookmark and this would actually be county and not bookmark. So it's still a, it's still a, it's county is a, is, a, is its own tiddler. And then you could also close this over here. And then another way of course is um, you could break it down by, by region. So New York City is um, made up of the five, the five boroughs. Um, that's, so what I did was, and I, actually no, before I did this, let me go to the second one, which is, you can read by an interactive um, state map. Now, Justin, I think, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I think it's Cushing. 
because I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but he actually used the same map for another project. And I realized I could also use that same map for this project over here. So another way you could use this is you would click on any county. So again, I'm gonna use Rockland County down here. And it takes me to Rockland County's numbers. Um, I forgot what exactly he used this for, but it actually works um, in this way also. Yep. How, how does that work? You mean the map? Yeah. Actually, in this case, I think I also got a little bit lucky because once I um, imported my list from Excel and I actually copied the map over, okay. I realized that the names, the names were actually, the format was exactly the same. Right, perfect. I love it, that's great. That's, I that's think there were only one or two counties where I had to go back and reformat the names. Yeah. I think, but apart from that, all of the names remain the same. So all I have to do is just change. Um, again, I think he used this for... It doesn't matter. Yeah, no. Yeah, he yeah. broke the math. That was great. Yeah. So pretty much everything looks exactly the same. You click any county and then it will take you wherever. Yep. Excellent. So we close this out over here. And then another way you could actually navigate the list would be by region. So for example, I looked at New York City, which is its own region. And New York City is made up of the five boroughs. And the five boroughs would be uh, Richmond County, Kingston, New York, Queens, and there's one that I'm forgetting. Mm -hmm. So you could do this by individual New York City counties. And then you have the Bronx, which is the one I forgot. So the Bronx over here, you have Kings County, New York, Queens, and Richmond. And I think some, because of the size of New York City, the numbers are usually listed separately. They look at the numbers separately from the rest of New York State. And then you can have the list. Now, another thing I, I did also, is a, which, which is a little bit, not necessarily off topic, but one of the things I found was that a topic like this, there are so many different ways that you could go. So for example, I mean, you want to know a little bit more about the Bronx, you would click over here, and I guess you get a picture of, I wanted to get the Yankee Stadium, which is the most famous landmark in, in the Bronx. And then you click over here in Kings County, which is also known as Brooklyn. Then you see the Brooklyn Bridge. And then New York, which is also known as Manhattan. We have the Manhattan skyline. Uh, Queens, which is Queens. And Richmond, Staten Island. You have the Verrazano Bridge that takes you into Staten Island. Why'd you do that? I was actually trying to experiment. I was trying to see if I could do some, use the hover feature, feature. But for some reason, it wasn't working over here. Because when I, I would place the mouse over here, it would work. I would see something, but the picture would be extremely small. So I actually found, um, I went to one of, I went to the Tiddly Wiki website and I was actually looking at examples of certain features that other people had used. Mm -hmm. And this one over here. And this is the code for this feature right here. You just um, use the button feature. And each one of the counties has its own um, title. I mean, each one of the images, sorry. So I made an image of the bridge and I, I, mean, I turned that into its own title. So this actually takes you to the title. So for example, the Bronx, I, I renamed the Bronx BX because I couldn't call it the Bronx again. Mm -hmm. So when you click, click on the Bronx, it takes you to BX. Um, when you click on Kings, you go to Brooklyn. And okay. So. And then what's in, let's look at that tiddler called BX. Oh, or try King or Brooklyn. <laughs> it's too short. Yeah. So this is the image, but it's just a tiddler. It's, 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 
Okay. And then the TM modal puts it in that special formatting for you. Yes. Cool. I never used TM modal. That's great. Never heard of it. Yeah, I actually did a lot of, I looked at a lot of different sites. Oh. And I pretty much stole a little bit from everyone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, 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 that's great. Yeah, I didn't teach. Oh, TM modal. That's very cool. It displays a specified tither and a modal overlay that dims the main page. I love it. That's a great feature. Wow, thanks for showing that to me. You're welcome. I try to use um, the, I try to get the whole photo work away, but I was saying it didn't work on with the, the image. I think I was probably doing something wrong. Um, so, okay, so. That's the problem. So it's always, close you're, over here. you're always doing something wrong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> once, once you get used to it and accept that, it's very rare that there's bugs and that the programmer did something wrong, mm -hmm. it's mostly you. And you just have to like get over it and just keep hitting at it, you know? Cause it, and sometimes it's really obscure and it makes no sense, but it did to somebody sometime. So, right. yeah. Cool, very nice. Now for non-New York City, I actually didn't do the same thing for, cause I couldn't come up with an idea for okay. non-New York City. That's pretty much all of the other counties on the, on the, New, on the New York mainland. Now, did you um, did you add, did you add that up yourself, or did the you, numbers? Yeah. No, I actually downloaded. I think this. Um, I use a, a template. Oh, okay. but you didn't do the math in Tiddlywiki. Oh no, I actually verified the numbers myself manually, and they all work. So I know no, the numbers no, are correct. No, my question. I was just curious to know if you were using there's there's Tiddlywiki math that would add up all the county numbers, but I, I would be. I just discovered that recently. That would that's like a whole other world out there. Okay. You know, you can say grab all the crimes in these in counties that are tagged with non-New York City and add them up and tell me the number. That's, that's I, actually, I actually did that manually. Yeah, you did that, you did that in Excel, right? Yeah, this was done in Excel, and I when I used the template, it automatically did it. Exactly. But I, but I also um, double check just to make sure that they actually were correct. Yeah, no, no, no. That makes more sense. I usually do my math in Excel too because it's kind of designed for that. Okay. You have to do backflips to get the math to work so yeah cool now over here i was going to do something different um which is related material mm -hmm. i haven't said how i'm going to use it yet um the related material is actually a combination of audio video and actually another um, like print articles so if you like put a mouse over on audio it would give you a list of all of my my, my files on the audio. So I have one audio file. Um, if you go to video, um, I have three files in my video. Uh -huh. um, for print articles, I have two. And, every, and they're all list, listed over here. So for example, if you want to hear the audio of how crime rates in New York City reach record lows, I know what I'm looking for, so I'll just click over here. Oh, you can't click in the... In the um Okay, yeah. And it comes up. Yeah, so you know, you, you know what, in that way that you could have done. Um, so if you edit this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you wouldn't get the same hover. But if you just, if you just type tag audio. I'm sorry, can you please repeat that? Yep, after your hovers. Okay. Just type um, in as the, the macro, so it's double angles, tag hover, or tag audio, uh, capital A, and close it. So let's... Um, It's under your, it's under your hover. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure I could see it um, clearly. Yeah, if you just click doing. off your hover, you'll see it. Yeah, so what that does, and then you can template that, that'll just give you a click on that, and that'll give you a link to all the tiddlers that are tagged on you. Okay. And you can just use that, and you could make it look just like your words there. Okay. But um, by running it through a template, anyway, yeah. So that's 
Um, but you don't want to take it to the tizzle. You want to do it in the pull down, right? Well, I actually just, I, this only came to me at the last minute. Yeah, but okay. I'm just experimenting but, with it. So. To think about, yeah, that's, a, that's good. I like that. But that, and that pull down, that's in um, Jillian, one of Jillian's, I think, right? Um, I think someone was asking about it, and I decided to use it myself. Yeah, great. No, and I love, I love that. I love to see. So you see somebody else doing it. It's like, okay, I know how to do that. I can do that, and that's like, that's. I love to see that happen because that's, that's the way that open source software is supposed to work. Okay. You know, it's like, and that's the way the studio and my vision is supposed to happen. It's like you see what other people do, and you copy them. And expand and expand on it. That's cool. Yeah. So then you and is that an iframe? Yes. Okay. Um, Actually, when I saw this in the email, I wasn't sure what the person was asking, so I was kind of curious about it. And I guess just had to plug it in there. So yeah, that is um, an iframe. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's one tiddler, yes, it is an iframe. I created a separate tiddler for the audio file. Yep. No, not audio file, so for this one. This yeah, right. How crime rates in New York City. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Does it play when you hit play or does it Yeah, it does play um, Yeah. You just press play and that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's it's what. Can every, you, yeah. Can you hear that? No, but it's okay. I believe it. Yeah, it's cool. It it, it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those would be cool in TM modals too. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, if you could select it, and I wonder if you select it, and if you throw, use TM modal, I'm gonna I'm gonna abuse that next. <laughs> <laughs> I like the TM model. That's great. Yeah, thanks for doing for doing that extra stuff there too. That's really cool. And what else is there? And I also have a, few, a couple of video in there too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So every week the mayor has a regular meeting where he talks about crime and city and whatnot. So this is one of those meetings. What are we yeah. talking about the crime rates and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just stop this now. I don't think you guys want to listen to that now, do you? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, what else? Now, for all my projects, I always add a journal. I always um, put a journal just to give me, so I could keep notes as to exactly what my process was, was all about. Um, So what I was saying over here in one of my, my points is that when you use Tiddly Wiki for a, pro a project like this, it actually presents a challenge because in a good way, because even though hyperactivity is one of the strengths of um, Tiddly Wiki, if you're talking about crime, and especially talking about a, a state like New York, I mean, your project, your project could actually go in so many different directions. So if you're not really um, focused exact, on exactly what it is that you're trying to um, accomplish, you could pretty much um, have links to things that have nothing to do with your topic. Um, I actually had a few articles in there that pretty much were a bit, um, I wouldn't say they had nothing to do with my topic, but they were kind of a bit straying away from what it is I was trying to do with this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it does, I, I also mentioned that it does add um, value to the project because it gives you more, I guess, more topics to think, more to think about. So I say going off topic, yeah, may not necessarily be a bad thing concerning it. The topic of crime lends itself to many possible asides. And it also provides a reader with related material that adds value to the content. So, uh, what, what else is there? Yeah, what do you mean there by hyperactivity? <clears throat> you mean hypertextuality? Hypertext. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah not, not the way it looks, it was strange. Okay. Yeah. Hypertextuality, hyper yeah. I'm hyperactive, <laughs> but that, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so, as you, so in your experience using TiddlyWiki, what what do you think was uh, the, the the interesting things that you learned about hypertextuality, and what do you think were its sort of things that you think are really good features, and things that you think are just really annoying or bad features, or 
problematic features or aspects? I think sometimes um, it's easy to go off track and get caught up in trying to um, use all of, the, all of the bells and whistles that come with it and all of the cool stuff because it's easy. It's e and this is a very user-friendly um, software. So, so it's so I guess, uh, what, what, did, what did you find easy? Like what kind of things? Um, linking, I found linking was very easy. I also found um, transcluding. It made, it made the work a lot easier. Uh -huh. But at the same time, I found limits to um, transcluding. So for example, um, you know when you, use, um, when you try to use vertical, vertical tabs to display information, I think the information that you put in those titles have to be written. They can't be um, transcluded because it's not going to show property for, properly for each um, titler. So I think that this is, I'm not sure if you're getting what I'm, I'm, I'm I'll try to pull up an example. But transcluded information does not necessarily work properly with that actual, that feature of listing um, using the vertical tabs. Yes, the vertical tabs, yes, in a, in a table of contents, that's, uh, yes. So that was one limitation, but at the same time, it was a big help in the sense that I didn't want to type in information for 62 counties. That was a lot of work. Of course, right. So using the chunk, I created a template, a separate template for the numbers, and I actually just put in the word template in every single title, and that did all of the work for me. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's that feature called templating. Yes. Right. And so, which enables you to transclude from all sorts of tiddlers that have the common tag or a common feature. Yeah. That show up basically on a list. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you find, how did you find using the difference between fields and tags? I think I'm still a little bit confused with um, fields and tags, especially when I'm, when I'm importing from, from Excel. Yeah. Um, because I've seen some very complicated Excel sheets where I couldn't tell the difference between the tag, what would be a tag and what would be a field. And actually in some of the crime statistics that were listed, they were broken down by, um, by state, by county, by town, by hamlet, to every little whatever um, unit yep. you have in, in a county. And some of those things are kind of complicated. So in that sense, I couldn't tell the difference between what a, a, a tag and um, a field. Because what I'm trying to do is, if when I have the information, the raw information, I'm trying to make a parallel between the Excel world and the Tiddly Wiki world, like how one would, how they would relate to each other. Mm -hmm. Like trying to put one against a mirror and seeing exactly how they match. And right. in some cases, I couldn't find the match. So I'm still figuring out how to okay. pass uh, that aspect of um, using Tiddly Wiki. Yeah, so if you go to your uh, control panel, and I heard somebody else come in, and I don't want to step on somebody else's time. So um, are we running late now? We're supposed to be over at 8.30, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. So I'll leave you with this thought. That's a great project, and thanks so much for describing it. Arnold. Thank you. It's great to see all the work that you did and and uh, the stuff that you built. Um, you you know, I'd encourage you, if you find this at all interesting, to, um, you know, Tiddly, to me, Tiddly Wiki is like Microsoft Word, you know, so you can use Tiddly Wiki to do anything. You can write, you can do screen, you can do slide presentations, you can do graphics, whatever it is you want to do. So to me, it's just like a tool in Word. And um, I'd encourage you to um, make all of the things that you build in the IDT program interactive. If you're interested in that. If you if you seem to be interested in data and a little bit of web, so everything you build, just make it an interactive by nature and just study that like, along the way, no matter what. Um, so I'd encourage you to do that. You know, if it fits the assignments. Um, yeah. So far, all my projects I've done so far, they've done with the view of um, they've done with a view of actually um to continuing them down the road. Yeah. So this one is something I'm going to continue, and I think one of the other ones I've done. Yeah, and if you decide that you want to study interactivity or interactive design as a thesis project, Tiddly Wiki could potentially be a project uh, platform that you use to build your interactives. Um, and I'll just leave you with one thought because I want to move on to our 8.30 and running really late. Um, if you think about Excel and the relationship between spreadsheets and Tiddly Wiki, each row becomes a tiddler. 
Eso es lo que quiero. And if you just go from there, then that'll help you. I think each row ultimately becomes a tiddler, at least for a while until you start getting into more complicated things. But in general, each row is a tiddler. And, um, you know, every column becomes a field in the tiddler. And the name of that tiddler is title. <laughs> each row is a, each row is a tiddler named. Well, the tiddler, and, and every, every row has to have a field called title, and every column you want becomes a field in the tiddler. And you, okay. can also, you can also create a field called tags with a constant that describes what the row is. It's a town, it's a hamlet, it's a county. And that's and so you create a field, you append to list field tags, and you set field tags constant to county. And you'll look in mine and you'll see that. So And if you have questions, ask and feel free to ask anytime that, that you're um, a full fledged member of the Design Right Studio. You're welcome anytime, even if you're not in one of my classes, if you're doing something for another class, just submit it and we'll critique it and we'll talk. And you'll be on the list forever. You can't quit. Sorry. That's okay. I'll deal with it. Okay. So thanks. And sorry to whoever is next.